So it's getting cold outside, or rather it is very cold outside, which means it's a time of year when people like to start behaving more charitably. You know, it's good to give and to donate, whether you're donating your time or your money or your old coats and gloves, to help this sort of homeless and disenfranchised people who may be cold or may be hungry or may just generally not be doing too well. And I think that's great. Charity is great. I'm not going to dispute that. But I will say that there are certain ways of doing charity and performing the act of charity that are less good. And there are some that I think are out and out bad. Last year, there were these three guys on the internet, these three very well-intentioned guys who came into Toronto and filmed a video that ended up going viral where they bought a homeless guy that they found on the street supper at Burger King and they got him some clothes from a second-hand store and they kind of scored it all to this music that talked about how epic their sort of charitable act was. And they sort of videotaped this whole thing. It became kind of a viral phenomenon called a random act of kindness. Random, despite the fact that every single thing about it was premeditated and indeed video recorded. Even more recently on Instagram and Twitter, there's been this new hashtag called pass the pizza, where people go and find a homeless person and buy them a slice of pizzeria pie and then take a photo of them with this person, sort of the savior helping out the disenfranchised. Now, I don't know. I think if you are the kind of person who does charity so that you can kind of bask in the social media kudos, you might be the worst kind of person. I mean, it's right up there with like putting a photo of you helping out African villagers on the front of your Tinder profile. I understand that some people are, might be suspicious of charity and that there is an immediate gratification in buying someone a piece of pizza and putting a smile on their face. But the thing is, that money would probably be better spent given to larger, more efficient charitable networks who are trying to establish long-term solutions to issues like homelessness. Of course, that presumes that the people doing this sort of care about creating long-term solutions to issues of homelessness or social disenfranchisement and not just about their gawking Instagram followers giving them faves or thumbs up or likes or whatever metric Instagram uses to gauge sort of casual agreement.